this is Heather Hoffman and I'm here today to show you how I made this fun little mini note card set. I'm using the June 2020 card, uh, Kid of the Month from Unity Stamp Company. I'm using those lovely solid fern images. I just thought they were super fun. And I decided I found some little, um, just some small note card size envelopes in my stash. So I created some smaller size cards. You can kind of see they're not the size of an A2 card, just kind of a fun little um, note to give people. I'm using some water-based brush markers. These are um, some new ones I got, the Karen brush markers. Zig markers would work, distress inks, um, a lot of different things for this technique, but I kind of played with some different ways. I got two different colors of the markers out so I could kind of blend over two different colors. And I have a little scratch paper there that I just kind of played with coloring it and stamping it. And then I misted some water over it just to kind of see how much color I had left on there. And then I also tried coloring it in um, kind of the same and then misting a little bit of water. Um, just doing that on a little bit of scrap paper is kind of a good way to test out and kind of see the effect that you're getting before you um, actually commit to doing it on your um, card that you're going to do. Uh, I'm also just using, you would think you'd need watercolor paper or something, but I just did this on Nina Solar White 110 pound cardstock. It actually worked quite well. I think it just, there wasn't a ton of water and I didn't need to move the ink. So don't feel like you have to have anything fancy to do this technique either, which is kind of nice. So I'm kind of just coloring, stamping, misting with water, just kind of playing. It's kind of a, a fun mixed media effect that just kind of gives you some different options a little bit. Blending between the colors, doing some with water, some without. Um, just kind of getting a fun variation of color on there. So I started off with that one for an image, then I switched over to a different one, and then I'm gonna do kind of non-traditional colors on this one. I did some kind of aqua colors, and same thing, I just colored some, misted some with water, blended a little bit of color together, and I kind of found that if I went, um, put the lighter color on, and then, um, added the darker kind of along the center and then blended back over. It kind of helped soften that edge a little bit. And these, because they're water-based, you're not gonna contaminate and ruin them. So you can totally, um, these particular ones actually come with directions for touching the tips together to create a blend when you're coloring. So I really wasn't worried about getting one ink color on the other one. So again, I did my little practice on some of my scrap paper there. Then I also even tried just coloring on there a little bit. I don't know if you saw that. Um, I colored on, kind of soften it out with my finger a bit before I'm misted with water. So I kind of got a little bit of a moderately softer effect. All right, this last one is that long skinny fern. And I only did one color on this just because it was so small. I didn't want to try and um, stamp it two different ways. And I also didn't, um, by this point, I felt pretty comfortable with what I was doing. So I didn't bother with that little scrap paper because I kind of felt like I, I knew how it was going to work. So I wasn't so worried about it. I think the small size of this image... Um, I didn't find I had as much luck um, misting and getting a second stamp. It might have even been the color of the ink. I'm not quite sure on there, but um, I just kind of played with it. Again, trying to get some soft uh, blending. And I also took this one and came down from the top instead of the bottom. Not that you couldn't rotate and turn them around, but there's just something nice about doing it the direction that you can kind of see how it's going to stamp and come down when you finish. All right, so I let all of these dry slightly. Not that it takes very long. Actually, the first one was pretty close to dry by now. And I tried to clean my fingers off a little because I was afraid that ink would smudge off on uh, my white backgrounds. But I pulled off three just similar size and fun font uh, sentiments from the kit and just went ahead and stamped one on each of these little note card fronts. Um, the size of my note cards, I believe I ended up with about three and a quarter by uh, four and three quarters is the size of these little note cards. So I trim these front panels just uh, a quarter inch smaller um, on each side so that I gave a little bit of a matted effect when I adhered them on. So I added my sentiments and before I adhered them onto my little card bases that I created, I decided to add a little bit of gold splatter as well using my Starry Colors palette. And it's one of my favorite ways to add gold splatter. I just add some water into it with a little brush kind of stir it up until I've got a good little bit of gold splatter. And then I could set all of these in my box all at once and just kind of add that splatter. You could do them one at a time if you want to have a little more control over it, but I just wanted enough to kind of uh, accentuate that watercolor effect as I put it on there. All right, now I let that gold dry before I adhered them onto my card front, but 
um, you can kind of see just the size, how it's going to fit on that card front with a little bit of a border all the way around. I almost felt like these would make fun wall art or um, something to stick up um, and enjoy just as a trio all together. But super fun little note cards to tuck into a gift or send to a friend as well. Thanks so much for coming by today. Have a wonderful day. Yeah.